this could be the final part of the series. I'm sort of hoping it is. Maybe if I don't die so often, I should be able to get the final four missions polished off in this part. Honestly, just want to quickly say you guys have been awesome throughout the series. And what I'm going to do is as soon as we've completed this series, hopefully in this part, I'm going to do Vice City. Now, obviously, if you want to see more GTA games, if you want to see the original version of this game, let me know. I'm more than happy to do it. But honestly, your guys' support has been absolutely outstanding. I really cannot thank you guys enough. I know these type of intros are cliche, but honestly, after a year long or maybe more than a year long break from creating content, it's, it's so damn awesome getting back and just seeing you guys love these type of videos because I'm having so much fun doing them. Honestly, there was, there was a bit of uh, nerves and dread coming up to doing the, this type of content again because I was wondering, oh, you know, are people going to enjoy it? Am I going to enjoy it? Is it, is it going to feel like a job? But no, honestly, I think this is my preferred way to play games now, which is crazy. Like, I used to love sitting on my own, playing games and doing nothing, not talking to anyone, anything like that. But now, my preferred way is recording for you guys because th there's a bit of an interaction there and it's it's a hard way to explain um there's a it's a way of building a connection and it's actually really awesome that i get to play all these fun games and then you guys enjoy watching it it's just I, I can't wrap my head around it but it's so damn awesome but anyway apologies for the cringy part um we'll, we'll, we'll do something to make up for it because uh yeah no heartfelt moments in this video. Sorry, guys. But anyway, let's get it. Uh, Miguel certainly has some of that famous Latin stamina. I'm quite exhausted. We underestimated Catalina's plans for Spank. It reaches far beyond the yard he's selling it on the street corners. The cartel have a front company, the Kappa Coffee House. They've been selling Spank through the street stalls. We have no choice but to put these drug stands out of operation. Smash ah. them to splinters. Ah. Okay, so cruise Liberty's district to find espresso to go stalls. Um, okay, hang on, let me change the camera. Uh, I think I prefer that camera. So after you trash the first stall, we get an eight minute timer. Now, okay, what I'll do is, because we get an eight minute timer, there's no point me starting there where there is shown one, because then I have to go there, then I have to go there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'll just set a waypoint to go here. So we go over the bridge. We'll do this one. Don't know how many stalls are in each. I imagine this one will have the most stalls. So we'll go here, here, and here. So we'll work our way across because there's no point in going Middle Island, then left, and then going all the way back to the right. It just doesn't make sense. But yeah, I am hoping this part is the final part. I mean, realistically, I should be hoping to break it down into two parts, but actually... Oh, that's strange. Is it not setting me waypoint? Hang on. Why is it not setting the waypoint? Oh, it has set it. Okay, so it's set it, but it's trying to tell me to go to that stall. Now, I'm not going to do that because it's probably trying to get me to go back and forth. Now, as I was saying before, normally... You know, anyone creating content would wish to break it down into two parts, but I'd quite like to just have a nice final part. You know, it's got three or four missions, everything goes smoothly. That'll be ideal, because a lot of the time, well, during these final recent parts, the past three or four videos, I think we've only been doing a video or two a mission, which it, it seemed quite short, to be honest. Um, these mi these missions are not that long anyway, but I think the amount of times I've failed in them recently, we've only been able to get a few missions sorted. So we have got another one that's just shown up there. Oh my god, watch where you're going, boy! Now we'll park up here, and what we're going to do is we'll use a rocket launcher. Boom, baby! Okay, there's our timer. Eight minutes to go, so we probably have done the best thing possible working our way right to left. Yeah, because if we... If we were to work our way from the middle to the to the right and then to the left, it's just too much travelling. Now, you can probably do that within eight minutes, but it just doesn't make sense to backtrack that much. Might as well make it more streamlined. Okay, so there's one here as well. As I said, don't know how many are on each island. Maybe 
nine. So, okay, all the all espresso stalls are wrecked. So, what I'll do is the waypoint is going to take me back there. So, there's two there. So, after we do them, it'll be four stalls done already. So, we're, we're going to be nearly halfway done already. And we've only got 50 seconds off the counter because the timer only starts when you destroy the first stall. Now, I thought they were going to just break it down into. Oh, hang on. Let's say. Uh, Let's actually follow the GPS. Yeah, I thought they were going to break it down into three stalls per island, but I don't know. Maybe there's going to be more in the middle island because, you know, it's a lot larger. But let's go anyway. So what are you guys playing at the moment? I mean, apart from this, I am looking to play Max Payne 2. The only Max Payne game I've never played. Now, I've completed one, completed three. Never played two. So I've always wondered what it's about. Now, I, I read sort of the back of the manual, you know, like you do when you're a kid and you get a game and on your way back from the shop from buying a game, you're staring at the manual, you're staring at the back of the case and you're like, oh my God. You're getting excited and you haven't even played the game yet. You're just getting excited reading in, reading the instruction manual, which I don't know, it, it's, it kind of sucks that we don't get those instruction manuals in games anymore now. It's like, what, a little slip of paper? But I was reading it, it says a noir love story, so I'm kind of interested to see how Max Payne plays, because he looks entirely different, doesn't look like Sam Lee, and he looks completely different from how Max Payne looks in Max Payne 3 as well, so I'm, uh, I'm wondering how it plays, is it, gonna, is it gonna just play like a slightly updated Max Payne 1, and what is the story gonna be? Because obviously we know he doesn't die, there's a Max Payne 3. And I thought, you know what, I might as well play them before the remakes come out, because the remakes are due to come out... Uh, I don't even think we've got a release date for it yet, no? No, we haven't got a release date for it yet. Okay, that's four, so where are we on the map here? Let's have a look. Uh, let's go to the bottom of the map, because I'm pretty sure more would have shown up there. But if not, if there's none at the bottom of the map, we'll work our way to the top and cross through that tunnel there. So, we'll could kill two birds with one stone, why not? Move, bitch! Oh, sorry, boy. Okay, so go down here. Yeah, Max Payne 2. I don't know why I've never played it. I think during the PS2 era, I sort of just slightly skipped over it. Um, you know, Max Payne 1, obviously, I never completed that until recently. Now, Max Payne 2, it, it's, uh, it, it's a game that you're probably going to play if you completed Max Payne 1 or you enjoyed Max Payne 1 now because... As a kid, I was absolutely terrified of the opening scene on Max Payne 1. The dead baby in the cot absolutely scarred me for life as a kid, because how old would I have been when Max Payne 1 came out? I think I might have been about... I want to say about five or six years old, so I wasn't young. I mean, I basically, I didn't have hair on my balls, so the game scared me, okay. I didn't have hair on my balls, that's my excuse. Max Payne 2 got glossed over, and I've heard so many people say how much of a fantastic game it is now. Obviously, I'm yet to find out. I've set up all my capture card and everything like that to see what, see what it's actually like. It, it'll be kind of nice to see what this game is like, because there's so many games out there, especially for the PS2 era. I mean, there's countless, countless games. I think for a game console, that's the one that had the most games released on it. It actually is, yeah. It's the one that had the most games released on it. Hang on, let me see where to go. So, have we done them all here? Pretty sure we've done them all here. Yeah, hang on, let me uh, let me just check the brief. Uh, okay, yeah, so we have done all of them in this. I sort of missed that because I was blabbing your head off. Okay, let's go back to the map here. Uh, let's just go here, okay. So, follow this just because it'll take us through the tunnel. But yeah, it, it's kind of crazy that there were so many PS2 games released that, I mean, you bump into one person that plays games and the chances are you haven't all played the same PS2 games. Now, it's a bit easier with PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox, because a lot of the games are released on both consoles and even the exclusives, there's not that many. Now, there are a good amount, but say, if someone owns a PlayStation, the chances of them playing The Last of Us are pretty damn high. If someone owns an Xbox, the chances of them playing Halo are pretty damn high. Now, for the PS2 and the original Xbox, there was, I believe, for the PS2 alone, there was about 16,000 games, which is crazy to think of. 16,000 games now. You guys aren't going to 
Now you guys probably haven't played all those. I mean, if someone has played all, if someone has played every PS2 game, respect, respect, because that takes dedication. Oh, look at that timer for the bridge being down. Move, bitch. So there's there are countless games that I've looked at, and I thought, you know what, I'd quite like to play that. And it, it's weird because these games that are seen as the best games ever cost like one or two. One or two pounds. Now I don't know how much that is in dollars or wherever you're from, but one or two pound is essentially one pound or two pound is essentially what you pay for a bottle of a bottle of Coca-Cola. So it's it's not much money. I mean, oh, there's a stall. Here we go, boy. Let's go, bitch. Oh shit. Okay, I uh, I nearly died. Let's uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> no, this is gonna be the end, isn't it? This is gonna be the end. This is where we're gonna die. Right, give me your car. Give me your car. Give me your car. Oh no! Right, move, move, move. Shit! Okay, let's set another marker. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. pain spray because we'll need to lose the police as well. Right, let's go. We've only got oh, we've only got one star. Okay. Panic over. Maybe that was a, a bit of an exaggeration on my part. I think it's because I'm on a timed mission. Panic just ensues. It's also chaos when there's <laughs> when there's a time mission. I'm just like, you know, Mr. Krabs meme where everything's spinning and he's just panicking. It's literally that. I hate timed missions with a passion. They're the only thing worse than an escort mission. Now, some of you guys might think the other way around, but personally to me, I absolutely hate timed missions. Hate, 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 hate. They're just awful. I can't stand them. Okay. Oh, here's the final one, and we've got a minute left, so let's just hope we don't die. Here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. You're done. And we got some health. Yeah, boy. Okay, so that's a mission done. Got 40,000. Jesus. Now, what I'm going to do is we are going to make our way over to the other mission, but what we're going to have to do is go to ammunition because we are out of body armor. And I don't think we're going to need any more weapon ammo at the moment because, as you can see, look at the Uzi ammo I have. Over 1,300 Uzi ammo. I think I'll be fine. So, to my knowledge, I had a little look before now. I made sure not to look at the description for the missions, but there's only three missions left after this. So, if all goes well, we should... I mean, so if all goes well, I am going to do all three missions. Oh my god! I'm saying that as I'm crashing into everything. I'm sorry. So if all goes well, I'm looking to do all three missions. The final three missions in this part. So we've just done one out of four. Three missions left. All goes smoothly. I'm going to do them all and keep them in one video because it'll be a nice way to send off the series. Just doing a multitude of missions. Now, is the bridge going to go up? Oh, can we make it? 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 Yeah, boy. Yeah, bitch. I hate it when the bridge goes up. I think... There has been a vi video in this series so far. Hang on, let's go this way! Oh no, tree! Okay, okay. Okay, my car's still, my car's still uh, alive. Ooh, ooh, come to think of it. With me saying I want to do Vice City as a series, I'd quite like to do GTA 4. GTA 4 is probably my favourite GTA of them all, which is... It's kind of weird to say that because a lot of people, you know, think GTA 5 is the ultimate GTA game at this moment in time. Obviously, you know, at this moment in time recording it, unless over the next few days GTA, GTA 6 gets, you know, released with some game footage, which, no, my luck, it probably will. I'll probably upload this video and it'll be like a day before GTA 6 gameplay footage has came out. But when do you reckon that game's going to come out? Now, I don't reckon it'll be this year. Although Rockstar, when they do announce a game release, it's not normally a long time away. It's normally within like three or four months, like they've done that with Red Dead. And, ooh, it's raining. Ooh, nice gloomy ambience. Yeah, Rockstar don't keep you waiting for a long time. So I reckon it'll be March next year. We're tightening some more now or just wait for it to turn black and fall off? Give it a quick prod. Oh, what is that gooey yellow stuff? Oh, hey, babe! My handyman. I, I was bored, so I came over to keep a suka company. She's got the makings of a natural, this girl. She's managed to extract this little gem from our guest. 
There is a plane coming into Francis International in two hours' time. It is full of Catalina's poison. You can avoid airport security by getting a boat out to the runway light buoys and shooting the plane down on its approach. Collect the cargo from the debris and stash it. Oh, you be careful now, okay, baby? Now try the chili oil. Wait, the chili oil? Oh, find the boat and get to the marker. Okay, another timed mission. If you can hear Jingle in the back, again, apologies, it's my cat bone. She likes to sit outside the game room and clean herself for about two hours, which is the biggest pain in the arse as much as I love her. It's not practical, it isn't, but I did trial her during my Lies of P playthrough. I think it was part three, if you guys go and listen back to that. I did trial her being in the gaming room because sometimes, not all the time, it'll be every once in a while she might meow at the door or jingle that much where I'm like, okay, fine, come in, you little bastard. So we'll let her in and she'll try and chew something. It'll be, it won't even be anything, you know, like a piece of plastic or cardboard like cats normally like. It'll just be something random, like the corner of a cabinet. She'll just try and chew it. She doesn't do it in any other gaming room. Well, any other room. She doesn't. It's just simply, in my room, she likes to do it. And I'm like, what the hell? Why of all rooms do you choose to do it in this? It's, it's just, this is my sanctuary. Nah, I'm, I'm only kidding. I, I do love her loads. She's just... She, she's a year old, so she's still in that phase of curious about everything, although I don't think cats actually uh, ever get out of that phase, so yeah. Oh, it's night time, so that's going to be fun getting the plane down now. If I use maybe a sniper rifle, maybe a sniper rifle will work, maybe, I don't know. But, so where do we have to go get to the marker? Okay, it's just there. Now, my aiming with the sniper is not actually that good. But I'm hoping there is a way that we can actually take it down. Because we've only got a minute and a half nearly to do it. There we go. Here's where we have to go. Maybe there's a way for the plane to start its approach. Now if I maybe... Maybe if I just go here. Use a rocket launcher to shoot the plane down. Okay. Where's the plane? Where's the plane, boy? Where is it? That doesn't sound good. That does not sound good! Okay, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to climb up here, maybe, and see. Is there a plane in the sky anywhere? So there's some planes there, but there's no knowing which is which. That looks like it. I don't think we're going to get it from there. No, we're not going to get it from there. Now, my aiming with a rocket launcher is not the best, so I'm just hoping that I can actually get it in time. No, it's not going to be that one. I think it's that plane there. Yeah, it moves differently to all the other little planes, so it's got to be that one. No. Can I get it from there? Oh no. Come on. Here we go, we got it boy! Yeah! Oh, we actually got it. Okay, I was panicking so much because that just seemed like it wasn't going to go well. Now, that was a big explosion. Here we go. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. I was kind of panicking, thinking that I would have to climb. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's one there. Oh, okay. Okay, so get these. Oh, okay, you picked it up. I thought I would have, I thought I would have had to get out the boat for that. Oh, now I've got to turn around. This boat handles like a tank. Come on. Come on. This is not ideal. I'm sorry, guys. Anytime today. Anytime today. You know what? Gonna risk it? No, I can't risk it. Shit! 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 Go! 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 I can't risk it. And there's another one. You know what? It's an easy way to do it. Shit! No! No! Bad idea! Bad idea! Bad idea! Oh, okay. Okay. I thought that was my boat getting damaged. 
Oh my god! Oh, five stars, are you kidding me? Five stars, really? Okay, so, stash the spang back at the construction site. Now, where's the best way to go? Because we need somewhere with uh, Bray and Pay. Hmm. Okay, let's go to, we go to this harbour. If we go to there, we should be fine. So we're going to go all the way around the map and back there because if we get a vehicle, we should be able to get our vehicle inside the garage and get a spray and pay. Is it called spray and pay? Pretty sure it is. And then we get rid of our wanted levels. So that's the most ideal because if I try and go up there, just looking at the map, there is no spray and pay nearby. So that harbour is probably the best one now. I could easily be wrong, but I'm going to do it anyway because... Uh, I just have a good feeling about it, I do. I have a good feeling about going there. Because the garage is quite straightforward to get to. We'll lose our- Oh my god, okay, we can't even go there. Oh, no. <laughs> we can't even go there. So much for having a good feeling. Oh, uh, okay. Oh! Okay. That, uh, that worked well for you, didn't it, mate? So we're gonna have to get off here. Oh, no, okay. This is gonna be tough. So we've got five stars, and we're going to have to wade our way through police now if we reverse here. Really? Really? Dude, come on, give it a rest. Reverse up here. And then jump up there. Now get rid of this. Hello, motherfucker. Oh my god, oh my god. Get away. See you, bitch. Oh! That was, that was so close. <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes. Oh, let's go, motherfucker. Okay, now we have somehow got to get our way through this police force. Are we going to do it? Yeah, boy. Come on, you think you can catch me? Come on, motherfuckers. Uh, let's go. Let's go, bitch. You think you can catch me? You think again? I've got the need for speed, baby. Oh, shoot. Need for speed. Can't catch me, dickhead. Oh, oh, you really messed up my mojo there, mate. You really messed it up. Oh, shoot. FBI. Oh, fuck. That just spawned in. Shoot. That, uh... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Right, five second head start, give me a five second head start, that's fair. Uh, no! Now I could go straight there, but I really need this wanted level gone. Because I do not know if another mission starts, or when the mission ends, if I'll have that same wanted level. So, let's uh, go in here and get rid of it. Oh, oh no, quick, quick! Please do not come in here, do not come in here. Get rid of my wanted level, please. Okay. Oh! Eh, uh, why was there an explosion? Oh, hello there. You did not see me. See ya. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad we've done that mission first time. Because that seemed like it would be a bit more difficult. I honestly thought my rocket launcher would not hit that plane. The final rocket, I think, just about got it. So we got very, very lucky in that part. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Second to last mission, baby. Oh, okay. So Asuka has been killed and Catalina has been taken. Damn! Final mission, there we go. That was a that was a very easy mission to get rid of. Now, hang on, let me. Is it gonna let me get rid of the waypoint? Uh, oh, here we go. Final mission. Here we go, baby. The time has come. We are about to fuck some fools. It is kind of weird thinking that this is the first time I have completed this game. I mean, considering it's a twenty. Somewhere between the 21 to 22 year old range. It was, I know it was early 2000s, because GTA Vice City was released in 2002, 2003, and then San Andreas was 2004, 2005 maybe. 
I don't know. I'm awful with remembering dates for games, but I'm pretty sure that's when it was actually released. So for a, for a five or six year period, we got three GTA games now. As fantastic as fantastic as these games are, I would still absolutely love to just play through GTA 4. Now, I do own that game. I'm still trying to figure out a few fiddly bits with the recording side of it. Now, capturing the footage is absolutely fine. You can capture it at 4K, 30 FPS, even though it's normally only 1080p. So I can capture it at that. Now, importing the actual footage and getting the audio to line up. Because I can't use my PlayStation natively to record it. Hang on. Yeah, because I can't use my PlayStation natively to do it. I apologise, my TV just keeps talking back to me and it, I can't even turn off the feature. So when I'm talking, all of a sudden it'll be like, I'm sorry, I can't find that. And it's like, I didn't fucking ask you, you dickhead. Here we go. Let's go, bitch. Here we go. You don't have enough money yet, you need 500,000. For what? How am I going to get 500,000? What the fuck? So this might actually be the final part. I mean, this might not be the final part. I need 500,000. How the hell am I going to get that? There's got to be a way to get 500,000. Maybe... Oh, I might need to do some side missions. No! You know what? Let's, uh, let's have a look at the map. See if there is we need to do. Hmm. I tell you what, I'm going to park up here and I'm going to brainstorm some ideas, guys, because I am honestly... I don't know how I'm going to get 500,000, but anyway, I wish this was the last part. Unfortunately, it isn't. But anyway, I'll see you in the next part. You guys are awesome.